Hi everyone, I am Shubham Jhavar. I am a master teacher at Vedantu. We are discussing J Advanced 2020 Paper 1 Mathematics. The question for this video is this. Consider all rectangles lying in the region having points x, y where x and y both are real. x is between 0 close to pi by 2 closed and y is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 2 sin 2x. The rectangle has one side on x axis. We want area of that rectangle which has maximum perimeter. The options are given and it is a single correct question. So first of all, we will draw the graph of y equal to 2 sin 2x for x between 0 to pi by 2. So graph will turn out to be something like this. And since one side is going to be on x axis, the other side of the rectangle will be parallel to it and will be parallel to the x axis. That means the these two vertices would have the same y coordinates. Now these two vertices should lie on this curve because if these two vertices lie below this curve, then we beat the purpose of having the maximum parameter. So to have maximum parameter, these two vertices should lie on this curve. Of course, these two vertices can't lie above the curve. Why? Because the rectangle is supposed to lie entirely in this region. Now, since this curve y equal to 2 sin 2x is symmetric about x equal to pi by 4. So if one vertex is alpha units right of x equal to pi by 4, another vertex would be alpha units left of x equal to pi by 4. And they will have the same y coordinate. So the x coordinate of this vertex would be what? Pi by 4 plus alpha. And what about the y coordinate? Y coordinate will be 2 sine 2 times the x coordinate. So basically this becomes 2 sine pi by 2 plus 2 alpha. Which essentially is 2 cos 2 alpha. So that means the length of the rectangle is 2 alpha. And the height or breadth would become 2 cos 2 alpha. We want area which would be length into breadth which essentially is 4 alpha cos 2 alpha. And we want area of that rectangle which has the maximum parameter. What about parameter? It will be 2 times length plus breadth. So this essentially becomes 4 times alpha plus cos 2 alpha. Now we want to maximize the parameter. So we would use the concept of maxima minima and we would consider dp by d alpha and would make it zero to get the value of alpha for which p is maximum. So dp by d alpha should be zero, which essentially means one minus two sine two alpha should be zero. This four anyway would cancel out against zero. So essentially I have sine to alpha equal to half. Now mind it, alpha will be between 0 to pi by 4. So alpha is between 0 and pi by 4. It's because x coordinate of this vertex can't be greater than pi by 2. And since the x coordinate is pi by 4 plus alpha, which is supposed to be less than pi by 2, alpha will be less than pi by 4 and obviously greater than 0. So based on this, you can say, 2 alpha would be pi by 6. Now alpha is 0 to pi by 4. So 2 alpha would be 0 to pi by 2. And for sine 2 alpha to be half where 2 alpha is between 0 to pi by 2, 2 alpha is supposed to be pi by 6 and hence alpha becomes pi by 12. So that means the value of alpha for which the parameter becomes maximum is pi by 12. Now how can we be very sure that at a at alpha equal to pi by 12, parameter is indeed maximum. So we may go for second derivative. So d square p by d alpha square would become 4 times minus 4 cos 2 alpha. You may check this out. Since dp by d alpha is 1 minus 2 sine 2 alpha, d square p by d alpha square would be minus 4 cos 2 alpha. Of course, we have again neglected this 4, which anyway doesn't affect the sign. We have taken this 4 anyway. 
this 4 anyway would not affect the sign. So when alpha is pi by 12, this expression d square p by d alpha square would become minus 16 times cos pi by 6, which is clearly negative. So that means indeed at alpha equal to pi by 12, we are getting maximum. Now what about the area? Area is, as we can see, 4 alpha cos 2 alpha. 4 alpha cos 2 alpha. So when alpha is pi by 12, what about this area? It becomes 4 times pi by 12 cos pi by 6. So basically it becomes pi by 3 times root 3 by 2. So basically it becomes pi by 2 root 3. And this is exactly what we wanted. Area of the rectangle which has the maximum parameter. So my answer becomes pi by 2 root 3. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for the next question.